following program contains scenes of violence and mature subject matter. Parental discretion is advised. a hot dog goofy other delicacies aren't as simple french fries are frites chicken is called poulet and ham is jambon do you know what the french call three people in bed together <laughs> too too many especially if you need your sleep oh you don't agree well i know a man named walter who felt the same way you do one was never enough for walter I store this combination of ones and zeros under the file name Plainly Possible. Walter? mysterious place. Why certain people die and others live is a question that cannot always be answered. Walter? For every Walter? incident in our lives that leads to a particular conclusion, a myriad of other possibilities were present which could have Walter? changed the course of history. As a well-adjusted human being, what we must try to comprehend is that for the most part we have no control over the millions of outside variables that come together to create our past, present and future. Why your wife was murdered and not you is something we may never have an answer to. Still, you must come to terms with the fact. Ruth is gone, and in time, the grief will be gone too. And you will begin to open up to the possibilities of life. New friends, new happiness, maybe even new love. What are you talking about, my future? Of course, what did you think I meant? I told you before, I don't care about my future. I just want to see Ruth again. I don't have a future without her. Walter, let's be clear about this. The past is past, definite, fixed. It's only the future that has possibilities. You need to look ahead. 
This was everything to me. It's not fair. Of course it's not, but that's the way things are. We call it reality. You're wrong, my dear lady. What we call reality is merely one of many possibility planes. For example, ah, you, sir. Sir, you just came through that door, correct? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's right. What would you say if I told you that on another plane of existence, you didn't enter this establishment at all? What, what, what did I do? You kept on walking. Give me a beer, please. What I offer up for your mental consumption is this. For the sake of our sanity, we are blinkered from the truth. As human beings, we tend to cling to what we know, what we see, what we can touch. It is better to deny the unthinkable than it is to admit our inability to deal with the truth. And this time, the truth means infinite realms of possibility alternate universes alternate lives imagine the possibility who is this guy that's dr kurt rottwein pretty popular character around here between you and me it's a bit of a nutcase rottwein it's where have i heard that name before who knows claims he used to work for nasa says he built him something called a possibilities engine and they threw him out on his ass i don't think he took it too well if you know what i mean possibilities engine what is it buddy if i knew that would i be working here yeah sorry any case I got a hand at the old coot he sure knows how to draw a crowd it's good for business too brings in all kinds kind of like you haven't seen you in here before yeah it's my first time I... Thought I'd drop him and he'd find a friend and a drink, you know? That's my point exactly. You know, you know that even, even current thinking holds that we live in one reality strand of an endless multiverse of alternative possibility. But I still don't understand. Where, where do these possibilities come from? Everywhere. They're all around you. Believe me, trust me, this is all very, very possible. I know. I'm the man who invented the machine that proves it. Oh. Well, I, I, I have to go now. Thank you all very much. I just found my friend. I want to see her again. Many people lose their wives. I love her, Doctor. I live for her. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. Look, I followed you here in the, in the alley in the pouring rain. Surely that's got to be a possibility that means something. And if you hadn't, something else might have happened? I guess. And we are standing here now because you had the courage to approach me on a different plane of reality. A different man did not have that courage and his life proceeded down a different path. Likewise, on yet another strand of reality, your wife did not die. She is alive and well somewhere. Can you send me to her? Yes, I can. In theory. In theory? What you, I, the, the barman said that you, you built some kind of machine. That... 
yes, yes, I, I did. But what the barman didn't know was that my physical, physical proof is, is, is somewhat incomplete. I was missing a crucial physical element. Well, what is it? Maybe, maybe I can uh, help you find it. Walter, do you miss your wife? I mean, do you desperately miss her? Of course, I'd, I'd do anything to see her. Anything? Yes, anything. Then I found my missing element. A volunteer, Walter. A volunteer! <laughs> Thursdays on Space. True warriors. Forces of darkness. Fight! Live the fantasy. Every week. Evil is everywhere. And it's okay. Now, upon reaching the divergence, you will become an anomaly in that time stream. This continuum protection device will keep you from disrupting the time plane you are entering. Will I be able to speak to her? I'm afraid not. Inside the protective shield's case, you will be an invisible observer. Any contact with the alternative plane could have dire consequences. Remember, Walter, my possibility engine is still a prototype. It may not work at all. It has to. Look, all I want to know is that somewhere in the universe, Ruth is happy and doing well. Understood. However, it is impossible to determine at what point in history the divergence will have occurred. I do know that it is a reality in which Ruth is alive. Are you ready, Walter? Yes. Let's do it. Good luck, then! it's me stupid bitch who else would it be oh my god i, I don't know i just thought that oh, you just thought oh you thought what it was like a rapist <laughs> you should be so lucky oh my god. Woo. Oh my god. hey you put that wood in there oh. i was cold no 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 i come home from work i like it cold you don't like it that way that's tough shit all right now then why don't you just take that shirt off and let me see those titties no come on don't talk to me like that ah. Oh, come on! It's a stupid shirt! I... Bitch. I work all day for what? You know, a man comes home, he wants a few comforts. He wants a meal, a bath, maybe a beer. Fuck her! Hey! Hey! He's better off without her! Pumpkin? Pumpkin? Come down here, please. Let's straighten some things out. Please. Oh, huh? Prick. 
I see you know your name. My wife deserves better than you. She deserves me. Is it, uh, is it warm enough in here for you? Turn the furnace up on high. I can't take it anymore, Walter. It's too late. Don't say that, Ruth. Things are going to be different from now on, I promise. You said that the last time and the time before that. What have you done to yourself, Walter? Yeah, you know what? I, it's a long story, but uh, it's not important. But what is important... Is that I'm a I'm a new man. You can't change, Walter. You don't have it in you. Yes, I can. I've been living in the dark for a really long time. And the thought of not seeing you again opened my eyes. I will never hit you again. I love you, honey. Let me prove it to you. You do mean it. Yeah, I do. Dead? Tell me that's true. Oh! Yes! I'd watch that. I just... Do you beat me? Yeah, yeah. believe. Oh, it's good. You should see what you look like with eight legs. I'm so sorry. I, I feel like I'm in a dream. Mm. I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, me too. I've missed you so much.
Hello? Bruce? Anybody? Tony! Those oh, bastards have blown us all to hell! Oh no! <laughs> Next. It's just me. What happened? I thought you might tell me that. We were on the couch and you just disappeared. Where'd you go? <sighs> oh, Ruth. It's all right. Uh, I'm back. I made it back. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did. Are you back for good this time? No, I'm back for good forever. I'm so glad. <laughs> Not here. Come with me. Okay. This is perfect. This is where I've always belonged. <sighs> What if I'm not laying on this earth? Have I narrow his bandwidth? Of course, he may not have come up with the idea yet. Call me a janitor. In which case, mm. let's patent his idea and we'll be rich. We are rich, baby. We're just living in the old house with the new one's built. We're rich, really? Mm. Do I invent something? Start a company? What? No, oh. you died. Oh. Life insurance. Mm. Oh. Lots of it. Oh. The only shame of it is this idea has to come back. Yeah. I didn't kill you the first time for you to just keep coming back. That's it. I can't take any more of this shit. There's no escape, Walter. Come down here, we'll talk about this for a minute. Okay? Here, sweetheart. Hey, turd. What? Give me somebody your own size. No! No, you do it! Take my wife! Take my wife! I get it. It's a 
big joke, is it? It's all one big joke. You kill me, I kill you. Ruth kills me. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters because anything can happen, right? Honey, honey, I'm sorry I've been such a monster. I'm a brand new man. No woman is worth killing yourself over and over and over. 